Moving on to this week's grammar lesson of the week. So many of you love uh, this part of the broadcast, and I'm so glad you do. And uh, we have pretty good fun with these uh, grammar lessons. Here's this week's. Often misspelled words, okay? These are just a few. Now, now, this is just my thought. It may not be scientific, but a lot of times we misspell words because we mispronounce words, okay? We do it all the time. And then when we try to write, write a paragraph or write an email, well, we don't quite know how to spell these words. Here are some examples. Now, at home, I want you to see which one is correct. Number one, athlete or athlete. Hmm, which one is correct? The second word is correct, but a lot of times you will hear people say athlete. You're adding that extra E sound in there. No, it's A-T-H-L-E-T-E. -E. Okay, moving on. How many of you have heard people say library? Library. I'm going to the Aiken Library. No, you are not. You're going to the Aiken Library. The second word is the correct way to, to uh, spell that word. All right, number three. Mm, mm, mm. I know you hear this one quite often. Strawberry or scrawberry. It's not scrawl, S-C-R, it's straw. That blend there, the S-T and adding that R is str, all right? Strawberry. All right, moving on, very similar. Screet or street. <laughs> Some of these I was just cracking myself up. <laughs> but you hear it all the time. It is street, S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E and then finally, one of my favorites, okay? Even your most educated people will still pronounce this. I think it's just become something fun to do. Children or churin. <laughs> I know you're, you're somebody's grandma is calling for the churin right now, okay? Well, of course, Word number one is the correct way to spell that word and the correct pronunciation is children.